LDBC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks, let me go ahead and tell y'all something, okay? Um, in my last video, you know, I made, uh, you know, talked about Joe Rogan. And I talked about him being tired of just uh, people talking about Ronda Rousey. But I want to talk about one particular aspect of, of the video, okay? I talked about the Petitas and I talked about these are people that you don't cross. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down and I'm going to tell you exactly why you don't cross the Fertitas, okay? First of all, um, people, you know, you're pretty much saying that they sold a company, and, and yes. But here in my hand, you know, I have a letter, okay? I have a letter, and here's what I meant, okay? Because some people are saying, well, Coach, you know, you got to research these things, and this ain't a diss video, okay? This is me really uh, stating my position, okay? See, there are two things that I do notice, okay? And I pick up on very small things. I pick up on small things. I may not be the most all-knowingest person in, in the whole world, but I do I do tend to look stuff up, and I, and I read a lot. I read a lot, okay? First of all, um, <clears throat> after the end of the last two UFC events, okay, the, uh, the Zufa LLC logo, for some reason, it still continues to show up. Now, here's my thing. Did they just forget to change that over to WME? I mean, you know, did they forget to do that? Or is there is there a little bit more behind that, okay? And second, in my hand, you know, I have a letter. Okay, and I'm going to cut the lights on. And in a minute, we're going to look at this letter, okay? And I'm just going to show it to you. See, you, you have to really notice small things, okay? You have to notice it. Remember I told you that all of these guys... These guys, they have strong mafia ties. And I tell you, they're Fertitas, Ari Emanuel. These folks, they're very, very powerful people. They're extremely powerful. And they have mafia ties. They all do. Okay? See, this is not like the old age mafia where, you know, you have mob bosses and they got territories. They got this. No, nah, see, it don't work like that anymore. See, now the new age, this, this new age mafia now, these guys, they actually work together and they make a lot of money together. Okay? See, there, there, there is really no territory, okay? The mafia is even, you know, it still goes on now, okay? They still do their things. They do their racketeering. You know, they're not really into the dope business as much unless you're the cartel. But they still, they work together now, okay? And again, like I said, the Fertitas, did you think that they were going to build up their business, okay? Build it up, make it profitable, and then just all of a sudden just leave it. See, do you guys not think that's you find that kind of weird? And again, what I told y'all in the last video, look up the history between Dana White and the Fertitas, and that's all I'm gonna say. Look up their history. I mean, really look up their history. Look up some of the things that they've done together. I mean, guys, I've spent hours and hours and hours researching this stuff, okay? But I have a letter, okay? And I have this letter. And in this letter, you know, it's pretty much, it's a letter that Zufa wrote to the athletes. Now, again, like I said, I was really skeptical because I kept wondering, you know, months ago when they sold, when they appeared to have sold this company, okay, why would they leave this and they made it profitable? Like, why would they just get out of it? Were they just tired? Did they think that eventually it was going to take a loss? I mean, what? Because, you know, I find it hard to believe that, you know, the mafia would get out of the fight game because, you know, mafia early on, if you don't know, they invested in fights. Like, you know, every mob, every gang, you know, they had their, their fighter. And what they would do, they had the red and the blue corners, and they would put the best fighter against each other. You know, they would put the, the best fighters in their organization. They put them against each other. They place best. They do a whole lot of things. See, that's how things used to run back, you know, years ago. But see, now it's a little bit different. They do things differently now, okay? It still works kind of under the same pretense. But... I didn't think that the Fertitas would lose creative control of what they built. And of course, in this letter, this letter really outlines, okay, it outlines exactly what I'm talking about. See, they wrote the letter and said, yeah, the company's being sold, but they said one of the Fertitas is going to step down, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over. And, you know, when I get to a, a safe location where I'm not driving and trying to read at the same time, I'm going to take this letter and I'm just going to show, put it up to the camera and I'm just going to read it to you. Because again, y'all, I just, I find it hard to believe. I find it very, very hard to believe that these guys would just sell something off that they created and built. 
okay? Sounds kind of strange. But the reason why I tell you this because these guys, they have a bloodline. And these guys are part of the brotherhood. Now, again, without me going too deep, some of y'all will know exactly what I'm talking about. These guys are part of the brotherhood. They're all in cahoots together. They work together. They make money together. And I told y'all, in order for Conor McGregor <laughs> to get a stake within this company, I, I'm, going, I'm going big now. Conor McGregor is going to have to draw blood. And I don't mean draw blood in the octagon. Nah, 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 nah. That's too easy. He does that for real. See, more lines. Let's talk. Let's think about in a in a spiritual type realm. Conor McGregor is gonna have to draw blood. That's just the way that is. There's no getting around it. This guy is not gonna reach a certain level until he draws blood. They're not just gonna give him a stake in the company. They're not gonna give him a percentage of the UFC. No. It can't work like that. And maybe you guys understand, and maybe some of you don't. But I'm not going to overly elaborate on that topic. I'm just not going to do it, okay? I'm not going to sit back and overly elaborate on something, okay? Because if I say exactly, if I go really in deep, a lot of y'all not going to believe it anyway. But many of y'all know what the brotherhood is. You know everything that I'm talking about. He's not going to get a stake. And these are people that you don't piss off. You just don't. And what is Dana White's role in all this? I encourage y'all to go. Because I've done my research. I understand how Dana White even came to be. <laughs> how did he get hooked up with the Fertitas? I mean, see, it's a real long story. But once you go back and you look at the stories and you read it, then you begin to understand. Then you begin to understand why Dana White is so powerful. Why he's so powerful. And why... He couldn't leave the UFC. He's powerful. Very powerful man. Very, very powerful. A lot of things go through him. So, yeah, they got new ownership, and he's only got a 9% stake in, in the company. But Dana White pretty much is running things. <laughs> okay. So, that's just the way that is. Okay, so here's the letter, okay? I'm going to read it to you because the print is kind of small, okay? I'm going to read fast. It says, Dear Athletes, uh, we are writing to personally advise you of a change to the UFC. Renowned entertainment, sports, and fashion grant WME IMG has uh, entered into an agreement to acquire UFC Silver Lake Partners, KKR, MSD, Capital LP, and MSD Partnership. Uh, partner LP will join WME. As a uh, new strategic investors, the transaction is subject to customary closing conditions, okay? From the moment Zuffa LLC purchased uh, UFC over 15 years ago, the athletes... Uh, you, the athletes, have always been the central focus of the promotion. That will not change. WME IMG, who has also been involved in the UFC for many years. See, they've already been around. These guys have already been working with each other anyway, okay? All right, is focused on the continued global expansion of mixed martial art and is committed to further promoting, okay, promoting you on the global stage. Upon closing the deal, Lorenzo Fertitta, he will be stepping down as chairman and CEO of the organization. However, Lorenzo and Frank will retain a minority ownership. Hmm, okay. Interest in the business. UFC President Dana White will still continue, okay? As his role will also retain a minority ownership and interest. So, people, let me go ahead and tell you something right now, okay? So they're going to retain a minority interest, okay? What does that mean? Yes, in your mind, they're going to just, you know, do little things. They're going to be, you know, very passive. See, the Fertitas, these are alpha males. There's nothing passive about these guys. If you don't think for one minute and one second that these guys still don't have control, because, see, I found that kind of odd. Now, I, I'm not business savvy. I don't have all the business savvy in the world, but I'm street smart, very street smart. And that's where, you know, I got a lot of my education from on the street. <laughs> and it just kind of took me as, you know, like, why would these guys? They built this organization. They built this company up to to be unprofitable. They were making pretty good money. You know, why would they just give it up like that? You know, it just didn't make sense. And these guys, they want to be behind the scenes. They, this is a front, okay? WME, this is a front, okay? There's nothing passive about the Fertitas, and they, they're not going anywhere. 
And guys, and I found it kind of odd too that the Zephyr LLC logo still comes up at the end of pay-per-view uh, fights. Why? And don't tell me that they just didn't, hadn't had time to change the logo. No, 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 no. Okay? And they may change it in time, but I tell you what. The Fertitas, they ain't with nowhere. They not going anywhere. And, and, and you guys got to understand that they're not going anywhere. Yeah, they want you, they want us to think that they're just going to be very passive. No, 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 no. They're still very much involved in the UFC, okay? All of these guys are part of the brotherhood. They're completely part of the brotherhood. And folks, that's just how it is, okay? I'm not trying to hear that, you know, oh, I'm, I'm going to be passive with this, what, multi-billion dollar corporation? And you're going to be passive? I don't think so. These guys, they've been working together anyway. It's not like that WM, you know, WME and ING, they hadn't been working. They've been working together. They've been working together for a long time, okay? They just didn't say, oh, I want to buy the UFC. No, 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 no. They came to an agreement. But I tell you this and I tell you this right now, okay? <laughs> and guys, I showed you better than I can tell you. I showed you better than I can tell you. They said the Fatita stepped down as CEOs, but I guarantee you that these guys, they're having a lot of creative control over what's going on in the UFC. And my friends, that's just the way that is. These are guys that you can't cross. They are not passive people. These are very aggressive businessmen. They're very aggressive mafia businessmen. They don't take no for an answer. They don't do things off a whim. All of their decision making is very calculated. These guys are calculated. They don't do anything based off emotion. They do nothing based off emotion. Everything they do has a purpose and is calculated. And I can tell you this right now, okay? These are not the type of guys that you're going to play around with, okay? These are not the type of guys that they're just going to do something. Trust me, there's a reason why they wanted to take a back seat and work completely behind the scenes. But the question for you is, why do you think that is? This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.